Welcome back, aquarium enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Matinus Hypsalgen, also known as Silver Dollar. Habitat and Tank Requirements A group of adult Silver Dollars requires a tank of at least 265 liters, prioritizing length and width over height. Juveniles can be housed in smaller aquaria. In the wild, silver dollars inhabit densely planted river tributaries, though replicating this in captivity is challenging due to their avid plant-eating behavior. Hardy plants or convincing artificial alternatives are recommended. Dim lighting and areas of refuge help boost their confidence. Water parameters, temperature 75 to 82 D or 24 to 28 D C, pH 6.0, 7.0 hardness, up to 10 dollars shows. Diet Silver Dollars thrive on a diet rich in vegetable matter, including courgette, cucumber, peas, spring greens, and other green vegetables. Commercial foods like algae wafers, spirulina, and vegetable flake are also recommended. They accept a variety of aquarium foods and enjoy treats like bloodworm and brine shrimp. Behavior and tank mates, best kept in groups of at least five, Silver dollars are generally peaceful community fish suitable for cohabitation with other larger peaceful species. However, smaller fish may be viewed as prey. They mainly occupy the middle and top areas of the aquarium, so tank mates that occupy the bottom add contrast. Peaceful catfish like Plecos and Dorotids are good choices. Breeding, silver dollars are group spawners requiring a large breeding tank. Conditioning the fish well prior to introduction to the breeding setup is crucial. Water conditions should be slightly warmer and softer, with a temperature around 82 to 28 to dosing to trigger spawning. Males display dark coloration and intensify redness around the chest areas when ready to spawn. Courtship involves males pursuing females and shimmying next to them. Eggs are released by the female and fertilized by the male. A high mortality rate is likely due to the large number of eggs laid per spawning pair. So culling small and deformed fish is recommended to manage the brood effectively.